This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. The award-winning Lee Pitts Live is brought to you by Hodges University. Build the future you at Hodges University. Good morning, Southwest Florida. Welcome to another edition of Lee Pitts Live. And we are still coming to you from one of the great business development organizations in all of Southwest Florida, the Southwest Florida Enterprise Center. I'm so thrilled to, and for the accommodations that have been provided here, big shout out to Mike Love, Michelle, and JP. They have done an outstanding job in hosting us here on Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard in Fort Myers at the Enterprise Center. Also wanna shout out Charles Runnels. Uh, Charles, I'm shouting you out on TV. He's a great writer for the news press and he wrote this article here about Lee Pitts Live in our 25 years. I think if you read this article, it's online as well. Just Google Lee Pitts Live and um, uh, news press and you'll see this article that was in Sunday's paper and people shout me out and they really enjoy finding out about how all this process started and how my childhood was. So big shout out to Charles. We have a fabulous show in store for you today. We get a chance to talk to Mike Gookin. He's the CEO of Applied Physics here. Has a very interesting business. We'll learn about it. Ron James is here. He's the owner of Mailcraft Welding LLC, a business right here in the Enterprise Center. And John Reed, the Executive D Director of Empowerment Works. All that's happening on Lee Pitts Live. Keep it locked. We'll be right back. Welcome back Southwest Florida to another edition of Lee Pitts Live. I'm so thrilled to come to you from the Enterprise Center Southwest Florida, one of uh, Southwest Florida and Fort Myers' great business development uh, location. We, uh, as you guys know, early on, a couple of weeks ago, I got a chance to talk to Mike Love, the executive director, who laid out all the details of this wonderful Enterprise Center located in the heart of the city of Fort Myers. Good to get an opportunity to talk to my good friend Mike Gookin from Applied Physics. Hey, Welcome Lee. back, Mike. Good to be back. Hey, man, you got that fancy name, Applied Physics, man. Are you some kind of brainiac engineer? What, what, what? I know we got our questions, Mike. When people hear that Applied Physics, they go like, whoa, right? <laughs> go ahead. Uh, we're just a bunch of geeks that came up with a good idea, got a patent on it, got some funding, and uh, built a venture out of it. That's excellent. Light lock. What does that mean? GPS light lock. We take the... Uh, traditional photo control housing. We make our imprinted circuit board with a GPS radio receiver. So we collect the uh, data stream from the GPS satellites to get the latitude, longitude, date, and time. And we switch outdoor lighting more efficiently than it's done with legacy controls. I see. So that, that revolutionizes the industry compared to what other people have? Absolutely. The options on the market before we came along were either the photo controls, which are very inefficient using 1800s technology, or you could get programmable timers. And with the recent daylight savings time, I mean, it's just so obvious. They, they just don't work. They require constant human intervention and upkeep and maintenance, and it just doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of inefficiency. So what we did is we made it totally autonomous. You, you never have to program it or maintain it. Your lights are always going to switch perfectly. Okay. Give us a for example. People watching on television now, they're saying, okay, what is he talking about? Commercial, residential, security. Give us a if, for example. If it's Shopping an, center. If it's, an, if it's a light bulb and it's outside, then our switch is for it. Uh, you, r you ride around an hour after sunrise, two hours after sunrise, you see all these public facilities and roadways and privately owned shopping centers and pretty much everything. You see lights on a lot longer than they need to be. And these lights are 250 to 1,000 watts apiece. Most common ones are 400 watts. So for them to be burning even just a couple of minutes too long a day, annualized, that's a tremendous amount of waste. And it's usually public money. Who, who is your client? Who is your demographics for your product? Um, public utilities, units of government, and uh, supply houses. We sell through Home Depot, as well as some of the uh, national supply chains, um, city electric supply, as well as consolidated electrical distributors. Your product is in Home Depot? Yes, sir. Wow. Home that's De that's Home progress, man. HomeDepot.com. Look for GPS light lock. <laughs> My man. Okay, we have your phone number appearing on the screen throughout, and we're also looking at some video. Uh, what are we looking at? We're seeing people actually making that product they're physically making the product right here in Fort Myers? Right here in Fort Myers, cheaper than China and much better quality. Made in America? Made in Fort Myers, USA. Okay, so after they make the product, uh, what happens? It gets packaged here or you send it? How, tell sure, us about that it process. It gets packaged here and, and it depends whether it's going to a retail display or whether it's going to uh, 
you know, a contractor or public utility would just give them generic packaging. Um, sometimes it's generic, it's just bubble wrap or something like that, whatever it takes to protect the product. If it's going to be retail display, then it needs to be in the pretty box with the color label and the instruction sheet and every one and all that. Man, I'm so proud of you. Now, Thank why you. did you decide to locate your business in America and specifically right here in Southwest Florida? Well, we, we had all options available to us. We could have done outsourcing, contract manufacturing, onshore, offshore, as well as in-house. And when we weighed everything, it, it just came down to the economics. We not only do it cheaper than China here in Fort Myers, we do it cheaper than we could anywhere else in America. And we, and we contain and, and restrain the quality control. We have 100% control of the, the quality all the way through. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, that's our responsibility, so that's important to us. Now, and we uh, provide jobs for our community. Right, because I remember years ago when I talked to you, if I'm not mistaken, you were doing something over at Florida Gulf Community University, or you were going to school there. What? Correct. Right, that's, tell that's, that story. That's where we invented this, and we, uh, you know, the, the electrical part of it's easy. I used to do defense manufacturing back after high school, did electrical engineering, and to me, that's the easy part. The hard part was coming up with the astrophysics algorithms to make it all happen. So we did a bunch of data collection out in swamps where we got zero light levels in the middle of the night and tracked the sun and the light levels. Um, for about a year and a half and assembled a, a team of about 15 guys. Ten of them had PhDs in mathematics and wow. astrophysics. And uh, it was a lot of hard work. And we finally cracked it, did a proof of concept, applied for a patent, got the patent, got the funding, built the factory. Remember oh, years gosh. ago, Mike, you came on the show and everything was such a secret. That's so, right. Lee, I can't tell you about this, can't tell you about that. Now, now you're a big success, man. I'm so proud of you again. Mike, now, What's the long-term goal for a GPS light lock? What, what, 10 years from now, if you could write your business plan, how do you see it? What, what's going to be sure. going well, on? A, a lot, many more applications have, have been uh, brought to our attention by our customers. We entered the market with two products. We had the twist lock, which you see on top of most street lights. Then we have a wire inversion, which is for all other lights. So we can already control any light there is outside. But then they came up with like the landscaping industry wants a plug and cord connected controlled receptacle and if you've got people using them for well pumps out in Africa for impoverished villages to, to preserve the solar energy um, so you don't burn it all in the middle of the night from the pump and uh, you know, entry access systems for public facilities that are up in dust at dawn, things like that. You're international already? And, You're international? Oh, sure, yeah. What, what country, name a couple of com countries. Um, I know you mentioned th Africa, the continent. Throughout Europe and mm -hmm. Africa, um, North South America, Australia, New Zealand. Okay, so after the show, I get your autograph, right? Ha, sure. <laughs> you the man. Uh, Mike, how many people have you, uh, you have employed right now? Uh, right now, about 11, if you count all the salespeople and all that. Creating jobs. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. You know, the economy was really bad, and this community was hurting when we made the decision to, to locate here. And, and that, that's one of the main reasons we did is to provide jobs for our struggling community. I can't. I, I love it, man. Uh, how sales, right? How sales? Um, last month was our best month ever. Mm -hmm. um, 2016 is is obviously going to be our best year ever. Um, it's it's ramping right up, um, and everything is uh, is going pretty smooth. There's there's been challenges along the way that you know any bit of business would face. Now, final question: Do people? who are watching us right now, see your phone number on the screen, know that you're right here in Fort Myers. Do they, can they physically come to you, this location to meet with you and see what you do, or they just need to go to one of those stores and buy your product and that's it? Well, we hope they <laughs> run to the store and buy the product, of course, but anybody's welcome anytime to come do a tour. We, we host tours all the time. Okay, great. Well, man, keep up the good work and uh, I'm just, again, I'm so proud of you, man. Get your autograph later, okay? Good to see you again. Boom, all right, stay right there. As the saying goes on this particular show, for those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like Mike Gookin and all the fine people who are here with their operation in the city of Fort Myers right here at the Southwest Florida Enterprise Center under the leadership of my good friend, Mike Love. We'll be right back with another entrepreneur right here at the Enterprise Center. Leap His Live is right here at the Enterprise Center. We'll be right back.